All right, great Thursday evening. Let's get it in. Let's see. We are at many Samaritans believe. Many of the Samaritan people in that town believed in Jesus. They believed because of what the woman had told them about him. She had told them, he told me everything I have ever done. The Samaritans went to Jesus. They begged him to stay with them. So he stayed there two days. Many more people became believers because of the things he said. The people said to the woman, First, we believed in Jesus because of what you told us. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so important to testify. Tell your story. Someone said this today. They're like, people don't really remember your well-crafted, designed, researched, and and no planned out sermon but they remember your story your you know your narrative how the lord revealed himself in your life what did he do so first we believed in jesus because of what you told us what are you who, who are you telling who are you sharing your story with? Hmm? You have so many. The more years you you live, the more stories you accumulate. I know I have like three just from today. Come on now. We all have them. We know that now that he really is the one who will save the world. Jesus returns to Galilee. Two days later, Jesus left and went to Galilee. Jesus has said before that a prophet is not respected in his own country. When he arrived in Galilee, the people there welcomed him. They had been at the Passover festival in Jerusalem and had seen everything he did there. Jesus healed, Jesus heals an official son. Jesus went to visit Cana in Galilee again. Cana is where he changed the water to wine. One of the king's important officials lived in the city of Capernaum. This man's son was sick. The man heard that Jesus had come from Judea and now in Galilee. So he went to Jesus and begged him to come to Capernaum and heal his son who was almost dead oh jesus said to him you people must see miraculous signs and wonders before you will believe in me or were they like thomas i won't believe until i see or do we see because we believe the king's official said sir Come before my little son dies. Jesus answered, Go, your son will, li will live. The man believed what Jesus told him and went home. On the way home, the man's servants came and met him. They said, Your son is well. The man asked, What time did my son begin to get well? They said, Your son, uh, let's see. They answered it was about one o'clock yesterday when the fever left him. The father knew that one o'clock was the same time that Jesus said, your son will live. So the man and everyone in his house believed. That was the second miraculous sign that Jesus did after coming from Judea to Galilee. Jesus begins telling people the good news. <coughs> Excuse me. Jesus went to live in Capernaum, a town near Lake Galilee, in the area near Zebulun and Nav 
Tali. He did this to give full meaning to what the prophet Isaiah said. Listen, land of Zebulun and the land of Natali, lands by the road that goes to the sea, the area past the Jordan River, Galilee, where those from other nations live. The people who live in spiritual darkness have seen a great light. Oh, yes. The light is Jesus. Yes. The light has shined for those who live in a land that is as dark as a grave. From that time, Jesus began to tell people his message. The right time is now here. God's kingdom is very near. Change your hearts and lives and believe the good news. Stories about him spread all over the area around Galilee. He began to teach in the synagogues and everyone praised him. Jesus rejected in his hometown. Jesus traveled to Nazareth, the town where he grew up. On the Sabbath day, he went to the synagogue as he always did. He stood up to read. The book of Isaiah, the prophet, was given to him. He opened the book and found a place where this is written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has chosen me to tell good news to the poor. He sent me to tell prisoners that they are free and to tell the blind that they can see again. He sent me to free those who have been treated badly and to announce that the time has come for the Lord to show his kindness. Jesus closed the book, gave it back to the helper, and sat down. As everyone in the synagogue watched him closely, he began to speak to them. He said, while you heard me reading these words just now, they were coming true. Everyone there said good things about Jesus. They were amazed to hear him speak such wonderful words. They said, how is this possible? Isn't he Joseph's son? Jesus said to them, I know you will tell me the old saying, doctor, heal yourself. You want to say we heard about the things you did in Capernaum. Do those same things here in your home, own hometown. Then he said, the truth is a prophet is not accepted in his own hometown. During the time of Elijah, it did not rain in Israel for three and a half years. There was no food anywhere in the whole country. But the fact is, Elijah was sent to none of those widows in Israel. He was sent only to a widow in Zarephath, a town in Sidon, or Sidon. And there were many people with leprosy living in Israel during the time of the prophet Elisha. But none of them were healed. The only one was Naaman, and he was from the country of Syria, not Israel. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were very angry. They got up and forced Jesus to go out of town. Their town was built on a hill. They took Jesus to the edge of the hill to throw him off. But he walked through the middle of the crowd and went away. Wow. The Lord delivered him. Father God delivered him. Gave him a clear path. Gave him wisdom to be able to escape. And isn't that the truth? That the Lord promises that he will make a way of escape for all of us in temptation and whatever that situation. But we had to draw nigh to him, listen to him, and the path will be clear. Hey, I tell you. Thank you, Father Lord, that as we continue to trust in you with all your our heart and lean not to our own understanding, but we will acknowledge you and all that we do and you will direct our paths, including those paths of escape, including those paths of new opportunities, including those paths of destiny. So Father Lord, we're going to continue Lord to bless you. We're going to share our stories and Lord will continue to worship you in spirit and in truth. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.